Ah, good morning. Yeah, I don't look as good as I normally do, I know. Uh, no makeup. I did actually, really, this is like real bedtime talk. I did just wake up, no, no makeup, no lighting. Uh, just is for now. I think my camera is even crooked, but this is really important. Um, as a lot of you already know, there is someone out there who is impersonating me and spreading a lot of horrid hatred. Um, good morning. <laughs> yeah, that is something, isn't it? Well, silly, silly me, the first thing I did when I saw uh, this person's comments on my channel is remove them, which is making it difficult for me to find this person's channel to, to report this user. Uh, of course, I'm going to be working on this all day. I'm, I hope I can get it cleaned up quick enough to do my weekend videos, because that's fun. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just going to take a minute out to address this issue. First of all, my deepest and most heartfelt apologies to all people who have been harmed by this. Uh, I um, honestly didn't see it coming, and uh, if there was anything I could have done to prevent it, I would have. So yeah, you, you have my apologies for this horrid situation. And I'm going to take a minute here uh, just to talk about evil, which is something I usually uh, don't address that issue, but perhaps I should, because there is evil. It does exist as a force in this world. I do believe that. And that's too bad, but I suppose it does have its place. Uh, there, Without darkness, there is no light. Um, you know, I believe in living life by contrast. Now, um, this isn't new to me. I'm not completely taken aback and surprised. Here, let me lose the windows here. Uh, I have found this to be something that I had to learn about, and in the book, The Road Less Traveled, I think they do an excellent job. Uh, I'm all itchy. I just woke up. I look like crap. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, just to, uh, in The Road Less Traveled, they, they do an excellent job of covering about evil. And, and here's the thing. You don't have to do anything wrong to attract it. Often, evil will attack the light. It, uh, I've been in many situations of being under attack where I'm sitting there being nice and wonderful and all sweetness and lights and butterfly pony cupcakes and people will become enraged by that. Um, and one way of explaining it is I don't want to boast my own load like I'm some kind of Mother Teresa or something, but your goodness contrasts their darkness and it kind of shows it up to them and they want you to stop it. Uh, it pisses them off. Now, to whoever this person is who's doing this, um, to that spirit, you know, I usually talk to the special spirit that lives in every one of us. Um, to that person's spirit, today, or maybe yesterday, uh, but yeah, very recently, you attacked a little girl little Katie. She's just the sweetest little girl. So I know I am dealing with the spirit that lives within you that is evil. And um, I know you too. And I don't love you. And I don't hate you. I am indifferent to you. You are merely an inconvenience. That's all you are. You are not that important. And I just wanted that spirit in there to know. I've been up against you before many, many times, and we all know how it turns out. Now, in the meantime, to, to those who are, and most of my friends and viewers and, and, and people who've subscribed to me, these are all people who are followers of the light, or they wouldn't 
be sort of hanging out around my channel where you know we that's that's what we're after we're after the power of good and stuff um, yeah just please remember that that we are still followers of the light and I I still am and I understand there is evil and following the light will attract that um, just by the very power of how much it pisses them off. Now this person who has to live with this spirit inside of them, um, they, they don't have that great a time. Um, they're going nowhere. They're, they're not having a good life. Um, whoever this person is, I would, <laughs> I pretty much bet dollars to donuts here that this person also is using drugs and alcohol to try and have some enjoyment in their life. Um, violence, sex, drugs, alcohol, all these things, you know, you chase after to try and make yourself feel better, that in the long run, uh, it's just going to cause you more pain. And I know that you have your times alone when nobody else is around. When you kind of feel like you're stuck in a phone booth with someone you don't like and, and can't get out. Uh, you're stuck in a very, very small space with someone um, who, who you don't like. And I also know that you don't really hate me. You hate the darkness within yourself and uh, you're just lashing out because you don't think you can win over what's going on inside yourself. But I, I'm here to tell you you can if you want to. But for now, I think you think what you're doing is working for you, so you might want to keep following that. And uh, it is. It's, it's just very, very sad. It's sad for you, and it's sad for anyone who comes in contact with you. Um, that, that this has to exist and be this way. But whoever you are, I am wishing you the best that you can get your stuff sorted out here and that you can stop working yourself up, um, trying to go for some kind of symbolic victory over something that doesn't really care about you. Um, you know, you, you want to win. I know you want to win. Um, you want to be important. You want to be able to overcome. I understand these feelings because, you know, I think that lives in all of us where we want to win and we want to we want to have some significance in the world and we want to count for something and we, in your own way, you want to be a good person to say, see, look, you know, I can get back, I can, I can get revenge and, and that makes me powerful. I, I understand these things and, and I do really, really hope that you, um, you know, that you see it. Some people do and some people never do. Um, but the violent do not die a natural death, unfortunately. It's just not how that works out. And another thing about the people, I've been getting messages back. Some people, thank you so much, Bradley. Um, and I haven't gone through all my messages because it is just such a mess right now. But I'm going to definitely as soon as I'm done with this. Um, you know, some people are coming back, they know right away that it's not me. Thanks for knowing me well enough to know it's not me. Uh, and to the people um, who are hurt, of course, I'm sorry. And there's also people uh, who have reacted very violently uh, to the point where I've gotten death threats. Um, yeah, that's, that's really nasty. But please remember this too. People are like fruit or at least I'm not here than a fruitcake, but no, no, people are like fruit. And when you squeeze them, what's inside comes out. Now, if you squeeze an orange, orange juice comes out because that's what's inside the orange. And right now, I've just been squeezed and, um, you know, a, a lot of people who have anything to do with me are being squeezed. And um, for some people, Horrid anger, postulant hatred is what's coming out towards me, I guess. Uh, and that's, you might want to spot that and think about that and say, you know, what's inside me that that's, that my first reaction was to retaliate. Believe me, my first reaction, I spotted it and went, no, that's, that's not following the light. 
Um, but yeah, it's uh, what's inside you comes out. Some people reacted very quickly to want to be helpful. Um, now, I am kicking myself for taking those comments off the channel. If, if I'm real lucky, this person will comment again. You know I'm not that good at computers, that I'm new to all this. Um, so that I can find this person's channel and report this user. Anybody who does hear this, anything they can do to help, um, you know, I look like crap. Anyway, I'm, yeah, it, I'm, I'm going to be honest, permission to be human, it does have me a little rattled. It does have me a little rattled, but I'm taking this as an opportunity to um, have courage under fire you know, and I'm going to sort through this. So uh, let's look at what's best inside ourselves if you're being one of the people being squeezed and if you can find what's good inside yourself and say, you know, yeah, I'm going to help this woman out. Um, that would be great. And uh, if you've been hurt, please just spot, just know that there is evil and it doesn't have to hurt. It doesn't have to get a hold of you. And, uh, you know, you can just spot it as unfortunate and then start saying, you know, how can I flip this into a positive situation? What can I do that's good about this? Things don't always happen for the best, but we can always make the best of what happens. And uh, to, to all of you, who have been helpful and kind, you do have my deepest and most sincerest gratitude uh, to the point where I could shed a tear over it. I really could. And uh, to those who have reacted um, with anger, uh, you know, please look inside yourself and know that when you get angry, sometimes you don't see the big picture. And I know you're very angry. I don't blame you. But the big picture is that it wasn't me. Um, it was somebody else, and uh, well, I guess I'll have to find out who it is, or you know, do whatever I can to deal with that. And um, to those who've just unsubscribed and walked away and don't want anything to do with me anymore, that is your choice. You know, this isn't your fight and this isn't your battle, and this is a lot of uh, negative, uh, nasty energy, which isn't very pleasant to be around. And I don't blame you for leaving. Um, I don't like to be around that kind of thing. It kind of pollutes my aura. Um, and uh, But it, it's up to you uh, what you choose to do about it. I'm just telling you that I'm going to do the best I can. I'm sorry for the pain I've caused. Um, and to the person who's the person doing it, you have the person has uh, my love and my forgiveness and um, to a certain extent my pity and uh, to the spirit that lives within that person uh, yeah I know you exist and I understand that you have your reason for existing and I don't follow you you're just not who I'm after so for everyone, with any luck, with any luck, let's all say a prayer, a meditation, a wish, a command to my subconscious, I don't care what we call it, that this gets cleaned up real quickly so that I can put some makeup on, maybe take a shower, clean my room maybe, uh, you know, and start working on uh, sexy lips hypnosis too, the antidepressant. Oh yeah, yeah, we're... But, uh, or some other foolishness or wisdom or anything in between. But yeah, yeah, let's hope that it gets cleaned up quick so that we can get on with our stuff and we don't have to, or I don't have to if you don't like me anymore. Um, yeah, so I can just uh, get about having a happy life and, and having fun with all of that. I love you all. You know, uh... I don't know, I guess I already apologized, and, and just remember when you're squeezed, what's inside comes out, this person, something about me squeezed this person, and that's what's in them right now, and I'm sorry they have to live with that, because that's not fun to live with, it's smelly, um, 
I'm glad I don't have to live 